Good evening, Exiles. So me and Sarah have a problem we've been working on. And uh, it's not fixing this. This is on the to-do list. But this isn't the problem we're going to discuss in this video. The problem is that we're both kind of messy people, even though we want to be super organized and stuff. And uh, so before the wedding, we used one of these scrum boards, which I'll explain here in a second. And it worked out for wedding planning and getting some other stuff done that needed to be done. So we've learned how to use it better and then have adapted it to fit our own needs. But to show you how uh, we have a problem with being messy, let me show you my desk over here. <clears throat> Underneath all that, down here somewhere, is a desk. Yeah, this all needs cleaned up. And uh, you can't even get your feet underneath there because it's a convenient flat surface to put stuff on. So I end up piling stuff on there that I need to put away later. So that's why we have to use some sort of method to keep us organized. So we have this scrum board. So what it is, this is a little bit different than what they teach you at business school, but it works really well for our household. So we have home repairs, that were like the hole here, lifestyle goals that need to be accomplished, and prepping goals. Now, uh, this isn't all filled out because we redid it, and but we're working on it. So stuff goes in here for home repairs. This is the stuff that needs to be done. So it's like our master to-do list. Like I said, this one needs stuff added to it. This is the row of stuff that's in progress. And then this is the key that uh, is really helping us get organized. Is stuff like... Uh, so this one over here. Let me move you a little bit closer. And I know it's backwards. Because of uh, the, I have to use the front-facing camera. But... So this one back here is heat. So... Everything we need to do to do heat is on here. Well, some of those, so uh, our goal for heat, so back a backup natural gas heater, well, that gets its own post-it note because that itself has a bunch of goals. Well, one of those goals is to empty the bookshelf, which requires us to do these, and we got to do this one. So anything that, anytime we have something on this to-do list, that has multiple items that it needs to get done, that gets a post-it note stuck on top. So when we look at this, let me back you up a little bit. So when we look at this board, we so what that stacking in layers does here is it lets us see quickly at a glance what uh, items are furthest away from the door, have the most post-it notes behind them. So we can go, okay, that's, stuff that's near a high priority it might be like this one down here is for chicken coop stuff even if it's a higher priority that one we wouldn't do till it gets closer to spring because we also wait them like getting a backup heat source is more important than getting a chicken coop because it's the middle of winter and then what we do from this is um what's well, called my three things so we try to Put, we put three things on our to-do list every day, no more than three. And we try to accomplish those three things. Sometimes it might be two or one thing. Like today, my one thing, or two things that I did today were uh, I'm doing this video and I worked on the stuff on the next wall I'm going to show you. And the, But this lets us grab those things. And I got the My Three Things idea from Nicole Sauce at the Living Free from Tennessee podcast and YouTube channel. I'll put her link up here uh, and down in the description too. I'll try to find a one where she just talks about my three things and it works of all the to-do list methods. It works the best for me. You just concentrate on three things or less in a day. So let me move around to the corner. Uh, Cause this is our closet door. Move around the corner to the wall on the side of the closet and I'll show you what th things we got posted up there to help us organize our to-do list. So I know it's hard for you guys to see because of the glare on these. But uh, we have these that are 
task systems. So this one is from my levels of prepping. Uh, I'll put a link again in the, the description, but it's just a way of organizing our preparedness for our group. So we can, our mutual assistance group, so we can hold each other accountable. And when I actually sat down and made a organized list, so that me and Sarah weren't prepping all over the place, we can take care of higher priority preparedness stuff first. When I look at this, even though we have a mutual preparedness, mutual assistant preparedness group thing, me and Sarah aren't even at level one. We need to write out our, write out Sarah's exercise plan, write out our budget and do a food journal, which we haven't done since we got married. I've done them in the past. There's a video coming about food journals and why they're important for preparedness. But the we got stuff. So there's seven levels. We got stuff crossed out on level seven. We don't have one finished. And that's a big fail on our part. So this will help keep us organized. And uh, we'll be able to take this, all of our to-do list, all of our preparedness list and plans to group meetings so we can hold ourselves accountable to the group. And we can also encourage the group to do the same so that we all know what, where everybody's at. So like, uh, we're going to create a binder. This will be in the front of the binder too, not just on the wall. But then it'll have our budget as another page in the binder. Our exercise plans as another page in the binder. Um, for that cut there, I don't know why my camera keeps shutting off, but I... Change some settings, so hopefully that fixed it. So, this one is uh, our house plans for doing home repairs. We only have a handful of items in here. So far, more stuff is going to get added to this. Like I said, these are prototype list. This is something I just put up that we're trying. We're, we'll have our budget and other things put on here eventually. Uh, this is my exercise plan. Um, the printer printed it sideways and we still need to write out Sarah's exercise plan and get the boys on board towards getting some sort of exercise plan for them because uh, they're homeschooled. So that should be part of their uh, physical education stuff. And then this is what we call the four B's. So every week we take some money out of the bank every Friday uh, the first, and we put them in these envelope systems. So the first Friday, we do a category called beans, and we put 60 bucks a week in it. Uh, we're going to switch that to 40 and then uh, put 20 bucks a week towards an emergency fund. And then once the emergency fund's filled up, then we can go back to this, the 60. But anyway, we have the categories are beans, bullets. Band-Aids and barter. Beans, bullets, band-aids are a typical prepper. These are the things you have to have to be a prepper. Uh, beans are like food stuff, band-aids, first aid stuff. And we added barter to make it four because there's four Fridays in a month. And then once we save up items in here, these are the priority things to buy out of those categories. So... Stuff out of our food budget is here. One of them is get a Berkey water filter. Uh, those are just examples. So this will help us stay organized and instead of uh, like, oh, that's a cool thing. I really want that cool thing. Like I want this cool new toy for a gun. Instead of buying that, we can go like, oh, well, before we do that, we really need this thing in, uh, in, instead. And... Also, maybe instead of doing that, we can go up here and like on this list, one of them is training. Before we buy another gun accessory, we should get Sarah better trained and more familiar with uh, using a pistol. So I hope this helps you be more prepared and organized with your preparedness. So you're actually accomplishing preparedness goals and other life goals in an order that makes sense. And uh, that way you're making progress 
instead of doing what me, me and Sarah, but it's mostly me, has done in the past, like, uh, and just bought a lot of cool things. Like, I should have bought a better water filter system before I bought that 1,000 rounds of 300 blackout. The 1,000 rounds of 300 blackout's cooler, so that's what I bought. Now we're trying to get more organized, hold ourselves more accountable, and try to get, like I said, our preparedness group, try to hold them more accountable and have them hold us accountable so that way we can be able to help each other out in different emergencies. So I hope this inspires you. I hope you, and I hope you don't just sit and make lists. I hope you get off your butt and start accomplishing the list like uh, your exercise plan and your diet plan. Get those in gear and uh, hope we all have a good year and get all of our goals accomplished. I'm not a big uh, person on, what are they, New Year's resolutions? I can't remember the name of them. Uh, but you should just do what needs to be done and quit waiting for the new year. Oh, I'm going to do this on my birthday. Don't do that. Just If it's important, just start doing it now. The only reason I'm doing this at the beginning of the year is because we hadn't done it yet and it needed to be done. So I had some time today to get it done and that's what I accomplished. So when you're done with this, quit watching this video. Uh, check out the links later. Go do something or check out the links and then go do something. The important part is go do something productive. And uh, remember, we, his people, will start building, rebuilding.